afternoon, good evening, good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro, and today we've got X-Men 97 Magneto. This comes to you from the Marvel Legends, I think, what do they call it, the, what, there is a line for this, premium roleplay, ah, uh, in Star Wars it's called something, but off the top of my head, I can't think of it, but this is a big old boy. I've always thought it was super cool. I wish we could get a movie version, but let's be honest, that's not going to be in the cards anytime soon. Especially after I do believe this thing has gone on clearance multiple times at the Targets and the Amazons of the world, which is where I picked this up from Amazon. So since I uh, kind of decided to delve into the cartoon, Spider-Man's uh, X-Men 97, uh, mainly the X-Men line is really where I'm going to be kind of hanging my hat uh, on the animated, just dabbling. But I thought, you know what, I need a centerpiece to that collection, and I thought, what better than the X-Men 97 Magneto helmet? So I'm going to get this bad boy unboxed, and we're going to get into it. All right, we got out of the box. We went ahead and just to show you real quickly the um, helmet stand that it does come with. This is pretty uh, typical with the... Um, Power Rangers line that came out, and I do believe some Star Wars helmets come with it. I'm not sure if they all do. Um, also comes with some little uh, 3M foam pieces here, which I'm assuming are for the interior of the helmet, uh, which is something that we will talk about in just a second. Um, but yeah, whatever. Sure, I could go ahead and read the directions, but what fun is that? It's so much easier just to go ahead and assume that we know what we're talking about. All right, let's get to the main event. Is it the main event though? Or is it a giant disappointment? Is it a four game sweep? I don't know, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. And here we go with Magneto X-Men 97's helmet. Now, man, this is a disappointment. It really is. Um, I think the paint is kind of shoddy, if I'm being honest. It's a little, I see plenty of little bumps and imperfections. Just kind of, eh, just kind of not what it should be. Um, it, is a, it is a nice uh, color paint, though. The purple does pop pretty good, and the red pops nicely, so that's nice. I will give it that. Um, but, you know, I can see the, the, the mold lines are, are pretty uh, prevalent. There's another one up here that just these things just pop a little too much um, for my liking. This thing is light and flimsy. Um, you can see it kind of, you know, there's just not a whole lot of girth there. I mean, even right here, see these little imperfections. It's just, it's just overall rough. Um, take a look on the inside, and it's just this is like a a Halloween costume helmet. Um, I can't believe they had the gall to try to charge $75 for this thing originally. Um, I'm annoyed at the $45 price point that I paid for, or the $40 price point that I paid for, to be honest. It'll look fine sitting there, but um, this is nothing more than a kind of a slightly better cheap Halloween costume helmet. Um, very disappointed. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a bum. Just kind of a bummer look. I'm just not a fan at all. Um, you know what, let's see how it looks um, on my big old head, so uh, be forewarned, we're about to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab this out of here. Just just to even feel how it how it feels here. Just to feel how it feels. And I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm assuming the padding is for the helmet. Um, because it doesn't have um, any padding in it, obviously. But, yeah, so, alright, let's have a look. How are we looking? I mean, just, it's just there, you know? It's just, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. But, I guess you guys can still do us a favor. Go ahead and hit that like, hit that comment, and uh, go ahead and subscribe because, you know, I gotta have something positive out of this review. But uh, for myself, 
and Uncle BJ. I need to throw one back because this is $40 I'm never getting back, but uh, we'll see you all next time.